Hello, hello. We're gonna cover a few things today in this video, as well as doing this little speed draw thing of all of the puppets. And we'll just have like a little tiny chat and also you can watch the speed thing, okay? Okay. So first we should talk about what I'm drawing and let me show you what inspired it. I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this video and I died because I thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen and I wanted to do exactly this but with the puppets. Just like a tiny little book of just all of the girls and then little stickers, preferably like these kind of puffy type of stickers that you can paste on top of each girl and ugh, I want to do it so bad. So that's what we're drawing today. Well, at least we're drawing the base of everything today. I ran out of time and I at least got all of the base girls done. And then I'm gonna have to go in and add a bunch of clothes options, but at least I can show you all of the girls and what their base will be like. Plus I have finally, 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 what everyone's been waiting for, some actual puppets news, like good news. So. Let's talk about just the quick sketch first, get that out of the way, and then we can talk about the good news. So you'll probably see throughout this video that a lot of the girls are going to be in similar poses. I initially was thinking of putting them all in the same pose so that they can alternate outfits, but I quickly realized one of the good things and <laughs> kind of frustrating thing, I guess, about all of the girls is that they have very distinct body types that are very different from each other for the most part, which is great in like a representation way, but it kind of sucks <laughs> when it comes to making merch and having to alternate and change things in order to still look like the character. Anyway, so I tried to group the girls into essentially what I would consider similar-ish body types, except for a few where their body types are not the same, but I was like, I'll just use the same poses here. They won't be able to share all of the same clothes, but I'm hoping that maybe there might be some overlap. And when I design some of the outfits, I'm gonna see if I can put together clothing pieces that can be at least shared amongst maybe two different girls or something along those lines. So you get maybe a few uses out of them. I don't know. But I'm also going to be at least providing an outfit sheet for each girl and what they might wear, as well as hopefully in the future, maybe making some different outfit stickers that you could buy separately and add on later. So maybe in the future they could be like bathing suit outfits or like, I don't know, fancy outfits, something along those lines. I think that would be kind of fun to, which also can kind of tie into maybe the good news that I have. So for any of you guys who have been following this project from the get go, like 2019 or 2018, I forget when I officially made them. I know that for a bunch of you who have been following along, you know that the puppets started out as a webtoon and then I put an indefinite pause on it because I decided I wanted to shift over and make it a game. Then COVID hit <laughs> and life went crazy for literally everybody. Um, I had an entire team ready and willing to work on this game with me and then once COVID hit, essentially everything kind of fell apart. And so since 2020, I've been kind of trying to get my bearings again, not only in the game, but obviously just in life in general because I'm sure for a lot of you, life has changed drastically. And for me, it also changed a lot. So I had to get used to kind of my new living situation and everything else that was going on. With that said, a lot of you have been patiently, very, very, very patiently <laughs> waiting for any sort of crumb or morsel on an update of if the game is still happening, if I'm gonna be doing anything else. And I'm pleased to announce that I am officially moving forward with it starting this month <laughs> in the sense that I am working behind the scenes with a very small team again and we are going to put together a Kickstarter that we're hoping to launch by the end of the year, I think, or, or like September-ish is what our goal is currently. So obviously there's still many, many months until that hits, but I'm 
confident this time that things are gonna fall into place a little better than the past few years. I have a project manager who's gonna help me assemble all of this now, which is very helpful. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited, but basically we're behind the scenes working on it. And ideally we're going to have a Kickstarter by September for our visual novel game. Our plan now is just to make an interactive visual novel game, kind of like a dating sim, but it's not a dating sim, but it'll just progress you through the story on how the puppets came together. And we are going to at least write the first volume, quote unquote, in their introduction origin story. I know I said that it was gonna be a rhythm game, but unfortunately it just, that got really complicated. So I had to scrap that part, but I'm hoping at least this one is easier easier to manage and easier to digest for people and something maybe that we're still working it out but like maybe we could put it on phones and stuff too so you can play it wherever read through so basically it's more like an interactive comic than like a full-on game but I'm hoping that it'll be really fun still and that people will still be interested in supporting it so I just wanted to let people know that there's actually progress <laughs> on this now and it's not just some weird vague pipe dream that I keep telling people oh soon oh soon oh soon and then nothing comes of it but all that to say is in regards to like this project that I'm working on right now that you're watching and other ones in the future playing with the idea of different types of donation tiers I think they're called donation tiers I don't remember whatever the ones that you click to fund the project and you can get things whatever that one's called um you know i'm playing with different ideas for that so hopefully i will have more updates in the future i would love to take you guys along for the ride while we are working on some stuff maybe you can see little sneak peeks i'll definitely be posting maybe some sneak peeks on my coffee account coffee coffee Ko coffee however you say it and you'd be able to keep up with it there or alternatively, I could make a Patreon just for the Puppets game that people can subscribe to and see behind the scenes. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't talked with my team about this. I literally just thought of that now. And I, my project manager might be watching and being like, oh my gosh, can you talk to me about these things first before you tell everybody in the world? <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you're interested in like a Patreon or something to see the behind the scenes before the Kickstarter launches. And yeah, so I hope you're excited. I hope that you're willing to help fund it once the Kickstarter gets launched. But I just wanted to let everyone know since so many of you have been waiting so patiently <laughs> that there's actually like some traction now <laughs> so let me know what you think down below and from this point on let's just get back to the drawing i'll give you a break from my voice and you can have a nice little like relaxing moment watching me draw with some nice beats back. Did you have a good relaxing time? I'm back with my advice to tell you more information. So, <laughs> obviously the reason why they're all in their underwear <laughs> is because my plan is to put different outfits and have different stickers that you can put on top of them. So I just researched and had a collection on my Pinterest board of various undergarments that I felt were appropriate for each girl, something that I felt like each girl would possibly wear. That's why they're just all in 
They're unmentionables. Who is your favorite so far? Which outfit do you like so far? Or should I say which undergarments do you like so far? Underpants. And does it correlate to just your favorite girl in general? Or is there one of these lingerie, whatever? I don't know how many different types of ways to say bras and underwear <laughs> um, that I can say. But yeah, is there a favorite? Or is it that, like, whatever girl is your favorite, you just love anything that they wear in general? Also, do you want to know a cool bra fact? <laughs> Here's something that I've recently discovered over the past few years with the help of some of my other friends who are really into vintage stuff. But the bullet bra, as we know of it today, was never actually called the bullet bra. There are literally absolutely no historical documents from the 40s, 50s, 60s that refer to pointy bras as bullet bras, torpedo bras, anything like that. And I have legitimately magazines from the 50s and 60s that showcase the pointiest bras that you could ever see ever. And not once anywhere do they call them bullet. They just refer to them as pointy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and I my working theory is that the bullet concept and the whole myth of bullet bra from them trying to be patriotic from the war and everything, which literally actually doesn't make any sense, was made up in the 70s because bras were more natural looking, relatively speaking. Teens in the 70s would look at maybe their mom's bras from the 50s and go, oh my gosh, those are so pointy now. They're like little bullets. And I think that that's where that phrase caught on was the 70s and 80s. But there are actually no historical documents that I've been able to find. And if, I, if I'm wrong, let me know. Tell me and show me some evidence besides just random articles that float around. But... In all of the advertisements I've seen, all of the book clippings I've read of lingerie and underpinnings of that time, never once ever in my life have I seen it referred to as a bullet bra. I have a weird amount of opinions on this topic <laughs> because I think that it gives vintage bras like a weird stigma, like the pointiness. Because I personally, and this is very, very personal of an opinion, but as an artist, I personally find pointed bras more flattering than the rounded shapes that we have now because the pointed part of the bra creates a silhouette that brings your eye up and out as opposed to two large circles on your chest that kind of just like blocks your eye from traveling up. And in like a character design way, it's like a more flattering and pleasing silhouette because the line that it creates is easier for your eye to follow. I don't know if that makes any sense, but here's like a little quick illustration of what I mean. <laughs> anyway, with that rant out of the way, let's have another quiet time. Quiet time over. Now we're just adding the little details of the color on everybody. So just coloring everyone and then adding blush and highlights and all of that little fun stuff. If you got transported into the puppet's world where everybody is either a dog person or a cat person, what would you be? Would you be a dog or a cat person? And what breed? Let me know down below.
what type of outfits would you want to see in a little paper doll pack? I'm thinking maybe like some casual outfits and then their official puppets showgirl outfit and then what else? Is there any fancy outfits you'd love to see them in or certain outfits that you think would be fun? Even if it's something that I would add on later, I think it would be cool to constantly update and add little sticker packs of different outfits, especially once the game comes out and you might maybe run into the characters in different types of outfits. Those stickers can also be added in the future. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, and with all of that said and done and all of the girls basically finished, let's see the lineup and see what the base designs are for each of these girls. Let's check out the finished girlies. 